Hello there. So I may or may not have booked my hot rod in for its safety test. Maybe this week, maybe the week after. So today I want to do a kind of walk around checklist for everything that might be required for a safety test on a 36 Chevy Coupe. It's not going to be the same as a modern car. There are certain things you do and don't require. But uh, I will show you everything that I think is required and uh, at the end of the video leave a comment what you think might be required from you experiencing a safety test. Now I know it's going to be different in Canada and even every province in Canada and every state in America and every county in the UK and whatever you have in Australia, territories, I don't know. But leave a comment. I've got some time to address anything that may come up. So, let us begin. So, let's begin at the very front. Bumpers. Bumpers is going to be a tricky one. I do intend to get bumpers, but I want the proper ones, or at least something that looks, you know, in keeping with the style of the car. But I don't have them at the moment. So, if the car passes everything except the bumpers, I can deal with that, okay? Uh, I'm not going to bother fabricating up some nonsense to get through the test. As I say, if my guy says everything's good except bumpers, then that's fine. I'm not intended to immediately go driving about to shows because there are none. But, as I say, I can deal with that. So let's move on. Obviously, lights. So let me go and put all the lights on and make sure they all work. Okay, so they all work, at least the fronts do, but we'll check the back when we get there. Other thing near the front would be the horn. <coughs> Sounds horrible, but it works. I do have a, an Awuga horn to repair and install, but that should get me through the safety. Uh, right, let's uh, let's move the move around to the side. Still doing the front though. Yes, I did spot that the right hand side flasher wasn't working. It's working now. Checked all the wiring, but I just tapped and it started working. I don't like when things just start working when you tap them. That means that bulb is suspect. But I'll check it again before it goes for its test and make sure it's still working. Don't buy cheap stuff from Amazon, unless you really have to. Right, onwards. Right, what's next then? Bodywork. Solid, it's not rattling. There's not any big, nasty, rusty bits that's going to catch people's hands if they walk by. Shouldn't be touching my car anyway. Uh, yeah, all the panels are pretty much the same standard, shall we say. So moving down, obviously the wheels are not like new, but they're solid enough. There's a bit of surface rust, that's fine. Plenty of tread in the tyres. They're all the same. Snow tyres as well, which is ideal for this time of year. So let us move along. Now here it, here's where it gets uh, a bit less obvious. I don't actually know engine requirement for this to be honest, um, and it doesn't leak, 
I think that's the main thing. It certainly doesn't leak fuel after all my holly stuff that I did. You know about that. So, yeah, leave a comment if you think there's anything in there that needs to be addressed. It's as tidy as I can get it. Nothing's going to catch fire, I hope. So, yeah, I'll leave that up to you. Moving along the side, there's no loose panels. Everything's solid. I can stand on my running boards. It doesn't squeak and rattle. Oh, wait a minute, it does squeak. Listen. <laughs> That's louder than the horn. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, still at the front, actually. Glass. Laminated. I know that's good glass. That's I got that from Mark Lurch over in Cambridge. What's this company again? You know what? I'll, I'll do a whole I'll do a whole video on Mark's place because he does some great stuff and it's all hot rod related, which is nice. Mirrors I have. They're garbage, but they work. Interior mirror. Again, it's a bit high, but it still works. Let's move to the inside. Seats are secure, no seat belts, which I've been told would actually be a fail if you fit seat belts to a car that wasn't designed to have seat belts. So I'm not going to fit them at the moment. I will be fitting them at some point in the future. Well, very soon or my wife won't come with me. Hey, maybe it won't fit them. <laughs> Sorry, hon. We have a handbrake, which works nicely. We have all my gauges. Oh, and the other thing I didn't mention was my wipers. Thanks to Lee McKenzie in Australia, sent me an, an electric motor for them, so they work great. I suppose I better test them while we're here. Two speed, aren't they posh? With auto park, which is nice. Uh, turn that off. Okay, that's the inside. The doors are not totally finished. But as far as I'm concerned, and correct me if I'm wrong, as long as they don't fly open, we're good. No glass there at the moment. Don't think that's required. Let me know if I'm wrong. Glass here, glass at the back. All nice and solid, all nice and laminated. Exhaust. Definitely wouldn't pass a modern car. It's really up to uh, my guy if he uh, lets me get away with that. They're quite loud, but at least they they, uh, they send the fumes away from the car. Actually, another thing that I didn't mention in here. The brake works great, power assisted, and stops the car. Stops it enough that the grill comes flying off if it isn't bolted on, but you'll need to see our previous video for that. So the brakes work good. I do still have the, the little firewall access hole to patch up but uh, I've worked out how I'm going to do that I'll do that in the next couple of days interior, I can't think of anything else in here that is crucial alright, let's move to the back handbrake works well the lights at the back, I suppose I better check them but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they work I've, I've got plenty of video that, videos of them working fine and I've got the little light installed under here to light up my license plate. So that should be good. I'm not too worried about these holes. I don't think they're, they're going to be a problem. But again, let me know. Let's get into the trunk area. We have my battery secured, clamped down with a, a box. Now, it's a, it's a sealed battery, so I don't even know if I can vent it, if that was an option. But I suppose I could at least vent the box out. Again, don't know if that's crucial. And do I need to put a panel at the back there just to keep that separate from the cabin? I mean, I'll be doing that at some point, but is it required? That's the question. And the floor is all nicely sealed away from the tank. The tank's under there. The tank is uh, strapped down as well, which you can see from the underside if, uh, if you really want to. I'm sure he will because it'll be on a ramp. But that's all there is at the back, really. And obviously I've got my handle, which uh, secures it in place. Same issue with the bumper at the back. There is a beam behind that, which is kind of like a bumper, but it's on the inside. But uh, I don't know if that would count. And moving around to the other side. 
we have uh, the shotgun bullet holes, which I know they're required for every safety in Ontario. If you don't have a shotgun hole in your door, then it will fail, I know that. So I've got that, I can check that off the list. So that's really all I can think of that's, you know, serious, important, required. But hey, I'm no expert, obviously. Uh, I'm, a, I'm fairly good at common sense. And I know what I would want to see on a car, especially if someone had built it on a driveway. But, you know, leave a comment. As I say, I've got time to fix anything and uh, or add stuff or take stuff off. <laughs> okay, I, uh, I await your comments or your, uh, your um, what's the other word? Criticism, don't like that much. Okay, right, before I go, tomorrow, remember, live stream, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time, whatever that is, look up like New York, it's that sort of time. And I will be doing a little quiz with a prize, okay? The quiz, if you want to cram ahead of time, will be on my channel because my head is huge. So if you've been paying attention to the channel over the last year or so, then it should be quite easy. And uh, as I say, at the end of the, the quiz, I will tally up the, I'll tally up the scores and announce the winner. Exciting. So take care everyone. I'll see you tomorrow evening or tonight if you're watching this on Sunday. Uh, so get studying. See you at seven o'clock. Can't wait. Take care, everyone. Bye.